G'day, we're back again with the Bafang M510 in this Frey Evolve e-mountain bike. So it comes in pink, white and grey. Nice pink we've got here today. So we're taking this up the hill. We're going to see how it goes with this Bafang M510 motor. This is a relatively new motor from Bafang, rated at 250 watts and 95 newton meters of torque. We're going to see how this compares to the Bosch, the Shimano, the Specialized motors that were previously tested up this hill. All right, we'll have a quick look at the track before we go forward and do the runs. If you've seen these videos before, you'll know all about it. A 200 metre section of track. It's nice and smooth, no obstacles. So it's about testing the motors, not the rider skill. It's got an average gradient of about 17 degrees and about 24 degrees at the steepest point. So we'll take this bike up three runs each, me, three runs for the cameraman, and we'll get our average times. And then at the end, we'll have a look how they compare to the other bikes we've taken up the hill previously. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is the M510 in the Frey Evolve. First run. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one. Here we are at the top of the hill again. We've done our runs. It was a bit tough compared to last time on the beast, but we've had a bit of a rest. We're ready to talk about the times and see how we did. So if we can see now on our display, we've got 112. That's the best time on the M510, putting it quite close to the other e-bikes around that uh, time, the Bosch and the Giant bikes, putting it significantly in front of the EP8 and the E8000, which are a little bit less powerful than most of the other range of factory e-bike motors. So we're pretty happy with how this has performed, just a little bit slower than the Bafang M600, which is a slightly more powerful version of this motor previously released by Bafang. Appreciate you sticking around this long. If you're interested in these videos, we'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe, leave any comments or questions at the bottom and we'll try and get to them. Uh, next time we're planning on taking the beast down to the closed road do some high speed tests and see how it compares to some of the other bikes we've taken down there previously.